Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads and I'm working on a rope tow for my backyard trail system. In the last video, I got my motor coupled up to a gear reduction that'll bring the torque of my lift up, the speed down to something reasonable, and now I've got to attach that power to something that will pull a rope. I need to build a bull wheel. Bull wheels are the big, gigantic, huge wheels in a rope tow or chairlift that bear the cable or rope that pull the humans up the hill. And they are so freaking cool. Bull wheels! Now, my rope tow is going to be a teeny tiny lift, so it's going to have kind of a diminutive bull wheel. Maybe more of a calf wheel. So I went to the dump to see what I could find, and I dragged back the carcass of one of those fat wheel mini bikes. And this poor thing has seen better days. But it still had the back drive wheel, so I pulled that off and got to work making it into my bull wheel. I cut away most of what was left of the tire with a sawzall, and was surprised to find that it was a tubeless setup. Because of that, I thought the tire itself was adhered to the rim, but it turns out the bead was just on there really tight, so I started getting it free. I used a beefy screwdriver and a pry bar to lever the bead off of its seat in the rim. Then I used tin snips to cut through the tire wall and the metal wire in the bead of the tire, and doing that freed up the rubber so I could pull it off the rim. The next thing I needed to address are these bearings, because they are seized. They won't turn at all. I hit them with some WD-40 to loosen up some of the rust, then got to work trying to figure out how to get the bearings loose. Dang. It's in there. Oh, I wonder if I could... things a bit easier. Jeez, man. He does not want to move. It's coming, but it's coming slow. Hey! Gross. Absolutely gross. This wheel had a drive sprocket attached to it, which is great because it means it already has this flange for mounting drive components to. My plan is to run a belt from the gear reduction to the bull wheel, so I need a pulley that I can mount to that flange. The problem is that it needs to have a really large bore to allow for that bearing seat to fit, so I'm going to try something a little different here. I took some measurements. And after some quick CAD work, I printed these. These are two pulley halves printed in armadillo filament, which is a 70D TPU. I printed it in two parts, so I wouldn't have to worry about overhangs in the V-groove of the pulley, and the parts have registration that let them key together. And I'm pretty proud of that. That's a nice little pulley. I am a little concerned about the material strength for what it's being used for here, so I wanted to make some backing plates out of steel. I measured a mark for my holes, then center punched. Next I cut out the two plates.
Then clamp them together and use a step drill to drill my holes. Then I bolted the plates together, rough cut them into shape, and clean them up on the belt sander. One plate only has to fit over the axle of this whole setup, which is really no big deal. I can just use a slightly bigger step drill for that. But the other side needs to fit over that protruding bearing seat, and I don't have a big enough drill bit for that, so I had to get creative. I drilled a bunch of perforations around my hole. Then cut through them with a rotary tool. And I cleaned up the jagged mess with a spindle sander. Now that those plates are done, I can put my pulley together. I used a two-part epoxy to join the two printed halves. And while that was curing, I washed the wheel and bearing spacer with some dish soap. It really needed it. Now that we're clean and dry, I can put the new bearings and bearing spacer in place. Then check out the alignment on my pulley and plates. And we're looking good! Those plates aren't perfect, but the bolt wheel is going to be spinning slowly enough that I'm not worried about it being perfectly balanced. I think this is going to work just fine for my needs. Let me just bolt everything in place. And there we go! That's looking great! That's a nice strong wheel that'll easily bear the force of the rope. It's got fresh bearings, so it's rolling smooth and it'll be able to roll fast. And it's got my new drive pulley, so we can get it all linked up to the power system and put some serious torque into the rope and pulling me up the hill. And I am right excited about that, and I am really excited about how my bolt wheel turned out. I had considered a bunch of subpar options, like making it out of wood or trying to 3D print it, using a bicycle wheel, but that clutch junkyard find really allowed me to build something that I am 100% confident in and is going to do a better job than anything that I could have cobbled together on my own. And now I've got a bow wheel that I am certain is going to work, and I cannot wait to get it into a lift. So in the next video, I've got to make something to mount all these components to. And for that, I have to do something I haven't done here on the channel yet, welding. So if you think using electricity to stick metal to other metal using molten metal is cool, and it is, you should go ahead and subscribe for that and all of the other awesome DIY board sport projects we do here on the channel. If you got questions or comments down below, if you have suggestions for projects I could do with that, uh, that fat wheel tire mini bike carcass, maybe an e-bike or something, I don't know. Leave all that down below. Shout out to my patrons. You guys are the best and you keep the channel rolling. If you'd like to support, check out the Patreon. I put a lot of behind the scenes content up there. Those guys know what I'm getting into before it makes it here in the channel. So there'll be a link down in the description. And as always, I love having you guys along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. That was a little different. Should I do that? Headbutt? Is the headbutt kind of aggressive? Yeah, let's leave it. It's silly. It's fun. Oops. Hmm, okay. A nut on that side might help.